everyone and welcome to Beyond Focus TV. My name is Angie Daniel and I'm the hostess. Do I have a show for you today? We are here having a great conversation with the CEO of Urban Network TV. Her name is Peggy Dudson. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I'll introduce her to you to talk to you about everything that she's making a difference in. Welcome back. We are here with Ms. Peggy Dudson. She is the president, owner, CEO of UBC Urban Broadcasting Company. Welcome, ma'am. How are you? I am great, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. Okay, great. Um, usually we will start the show with a small conversation about the self. Mm -hmm. um, how would you define yourself? As a trailblazer, renaissance woman, um, Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, I think you have to be kind of uh, a little bit off your center in order to take on something so yes, large. Yes. But I'm very passionate. I'm very. I'm an intensely passionate person about justice and culture and history and things of that nature. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, interestingly enough that you started that way, I love the trailblazing. I love the part that you have to be crazy for you to do this because uh, one of the things that I want the community to know is that you've opened up your whole network. It's like, it's like an Oprah. She's Oprah. She has a whole network. Like for 24 hours, mm -hmm. you have a whole TV wide branch to yourself to do and, and bring forth the ideas, things that you believe in. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so tell us the reason why you felt you needed to have a urban broadcasting. Well, I really was actually tired of all the negative stereotypes mm -hmm. that, that I had been seeing on television and in media about mm -hmm. people of color. It's just not African Americans, but all people, yes. all people of color and, and women. And I decided, I know Oprah said something, she quoted someone, uh, some guru, she said, be the change that you want to see in the world. Mm -hmm. And I decided to do that. And, you know, I, I get it from my, my mother and my father. They, mm -hmm. they were trailblazers in their time, and my mentors and my heroes and sheroes. And I just, uh, I did not know how difficult this was going to be. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very, very difficult to do, to start a network. Okay. But I felt that it was something that needed to be done. Okay. Yeah. Um, we talk all the time about urban lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I mean, in my mind, I, I think I have an idea of what urban lifestyle is. Can you just def explain to us what that is? Well, you know, um, I think people have misconstrued what urban mm -hmm. really is. Yes. Because it's been handled by a lot of different other people who are not of our ethnicity. Yes. So their definition of urban is something different. What UBC is all about yes. is culture. Mm -hmm. Our culture is worldwide. Okay. And lifestyle is an everyday life, what you live, how you live, your culture. It's, it, urban culture is worldwide. You can go to any country and see and hear hip hop. Okay. Um, we have so many tourists that come to New York here mm -hmm. and they come to Harlem, they come to Brooklyn, you know, sports, entertainment. That's urban and that's lifestyle because okay. lifestyle is something that permeates all humanity, and that's what our culture has done. So that's kind of like what urban lifestyle is. I mean, it could, it could, you could be a Caucasian and be urban. You can be uh, African American. You can be Latino. But it's, 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 it's just about lifestyle. How you live your day. What, okay. how your day intertwines Intertwine with, with who you are, mm -hmm. and how you communicate within your your community, community. And, and the people that you relate to. So that's lifestyle. Okay. So the the, the broadcast itself means that it's a creation of where you are. Is that the mm -hmm. concept of it? Exactly, okay. exactly. Because um, the programming that 
uh, that we're talking about is um, things that you use on a daily basis like fashion, beauty, mm -hmm. hair, mm -hmm. um, health, fitness, okay. uh, things that you enjoy, travel, Okay. That's lifestyle, and it has legs. It has legs, and one of the things that UBC is all about is multi, no, multiple distributions. Okay. We are, we will be on cable and satellite, but we will also be online. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also be uh, on mobile, okay. and we'll also be on set top boxes and things like that. Yeah, so I, it's like wherever you are, is that's. You know. That's how you can reach. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. one of those things that I want to talk to you intensively about. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to, because I, I think a lot of the time when we talk about like urban, like when you hear urban broadcasting, it's, I, I, th I think for me, mm -hmm. and I would say a lot of people would probably relate to that, you're thinking of specific. You know, I, I wanted to define that and then understanding it from your point of view as a person who decided to create an urban broadcasting system mm -hmm. to just get. Because I think community-wise, we, we are a wide range of people, mm -hmm. not just, you know, like African-American descendant, mm -hmm. but different group of people within one region um, living in different, doing different things, mm -hmm. whether, whether we are communicating through food or music, but this is a lifestyle that you wanted to broadcast. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Good. We all have descendants. I'm part Indian, and I have West Indian roots, and mm -hmm. we're all are a merging of, of races and history and cultures. Yes. And it's, it's about culture, it's about really. Culture. And yeah. I want our culture to be out there in the marketplace in the way that we see it, okay. not the way that others Other see it. Other people see us. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's really interesting when you said that. Like, we have a way of letting people define who we are mm -hmm. I, you know, as a person. Like, uh, people would see, see a, a woman with dreads, for example, and, and they have a mm -hmm. definition of what that is. Exactly. You know, so you make your own definition of what it is that we represent. Exactly, exactly. You know, it's like breaking the stereotypes, yeah. breaking the molds, um, giving people an opportunity to see us in different situations and, and, and positions, and, and, and it, it helps people say, oh, okay, well, that's not true, because exactly. now she's doing this, and well, so I have to think about this situation in a different way now. Mm. And it's just, you know, it's, it's like breaking down racism. Well, yeah. Black people can do this. Can do this well, yeah. okay. Well, I have to think about you know. So would own... you say that you are your own trailblazer? You creating your own path? Yes, for, definitely, okay. yeah. definitely. Which is very difficult because uh, you get knocked down a lot. Yeah. People tell you you cannot do this. Mm -hmm. You're a woman. Who do you think you are? Yeah. And this is a man's world, and um, we don't want to give you any money unless we control the company. I've, I've heard it all. It's been, okay. this has been a long journey for me. It's been okay. several years. All right. Yeah, because that's one of the, my, my second, my third question to the, the same part of the question is, how long did it take for you to get to, to this level? Oh, about eight to ten years, actually. Okay. UBC itself, eight years. Okay. Before that, I was doing... I was in broadcasting, and mm -hmm. I actually started um, here in public access. Yes. It was really wonderful. It's a great, great, wonderful, fertile uh, opportunity here mm -hmm. to create shows, develop shows, and develop talent. And, um, you know, you all, the shows that you produce here, mm -hmm. you're right there with everybody else. This is the num number one TV market. Yes. So yes. it, it bodes well to, if you really have a great produced show and people see it, it's very important. And that's what happened with me. Okay. You know, I started shooting mm -hmm. um, and people, and, and put it on the air. I was all over. And then I started buying time. But people began to call me and say that I really like your show. Oh, nice. I haven't seen this person. I haven't seen Patti LaBelle. I haven't seen James Brown. I haven't seen them in that vernacular, I haven't seen them in that position any, any, before. You were interviewing them. This is the first time I ever heard them say, say some things like that. So people would like that. They, they want diversity. They want to, they want to relate to something. Okay. You know? We're going to take a break and we'll come right back to finish.
welcome back to Beyond Focus TV. Uh, we are here with Ms. Peggy Dudson. She is the president CEO of Urban Broadcasting Company. Before we took a break, we were talking about how hard it was for you to, to start this company. And um, I really believe that sometimes people have ideas and then there are always others to knock you down. And mm -hmm. also there are times that people need to understand how hard it is to get to, to, to where you're at. Because so if they have an idea, so they don't give up on their ideas to, to just keep moving. So a person like yourself, if you can't get from point A to here, can you explain to the rest of us, like myself, like how, how hard was it for you? Well, the difficulty factor of starting a new network mm -hmm. on a scale to one to 10, difficulty being 10 is 20. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just have so many factors against yeah. you, um, funding, finance, because mm -hmm. this is not inexpensive. It takes a lot of money to, okay. first of all, either buy the programming or develop it and then get it on the air. Okay. First, you have to get the deals with the cable carriers. Mm -hmm. Then that costs money. And then you have to have the production. And to get it on the air, you have to have marketing, mm -hmm. advertising, promotion. And then you have to have a, the right... I guess, uh, marketing plan, mm -hmm. whether you're going to be urban lifestyle, you're just going to be like entertainment, like BET, or you're going to be uh, like the other networks who mm -hmm. are themed networks. Networks, yes. Um, I like did CNN not want to be, yeah, yeah, CNN, yeah, which is all news. Mm -hmm. I, I did not want to be a themed network, network, and I did not want to be a black solely network. Yes. Why? Because I feel that it's redundant to say, okay, you know that I'm black. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So <laughs> why should I, why should we You need to advertise I need to advertise more. that, yeah. you know. Um, but my goal is lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I feel that lifestyle is something that's missing in um, television. And, and so I decided to say, what's going to separate me from everybody else? Yes. We have Aspire, we have the TV One, you have the Centrix, mm -hmm. you have, you know, because first they compare... Us, they compare UBC to all the ethnic, ethnic, ethnic networks. Yes. Uh, networks. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to do was to separate even from there. Okay. Because I'm so tired of people putting us, if you're black, this is this where is you are. This is what you do. This is where you are. And why you. can't we just be like the other 200 networks? That's 300 mm -hmm. that's out there. Okay. So what I wanted to do was to separate UBC from the pack. Okay. So the urban lifestyle was what I did. And, and then there... So, so far, that has, has worked tremendously in my favor. Okay. Uh, people really are getting it. And so that's a, that's a chance. You, it's a, this is a big chance you take. Then uh, you have to have funding. I have put in my own money for many years. Okay. And I was very blessed to get a couple of angel investors, one in particular who has been with me from the beginning. Okay. He saw this from day one. And he's been up with me through up and down and up and down. Um, because you know you could get started, but you have to get to the next place. So you okay. have to have funding, okay. and and it depends on what type of funding you you seek. If you want to go to Wall Street, then you have to be prepared to give up most of your most company. of your yes. I did not want to do that. Okay, that was not my goal. So it has taken me part of the eight ten years has to, it has taken me actually has been finding the right funding. Yeah. Because I just I mean I had a an attorney here in New York City one of the top attorneys. He has funders all over the place. And he set me down, and I, obviously me and my, my angel investor, mm -hmm. um, and we sat down and met with him. He blatantly told me, he said, I could get you funding. He said, but you think you're gonna own this network? You're not owning anything. Wow. So I sat back and I, I said, okay. And then I said, have a good day. So I left. Okay. Uh, so I've turned down money okay. because I feel it's important that we keep control over our uh, culture, our images. I don't mind sharing and creating a deal that's equal, yes. but I will not sit back and be like an Uncle Tom and have somebody pulling the it's puppet good, strings exactly. behind me. And if I'm going to do a deal with a major entity, it, they would need to come to me equally on partner basis. And I'll do deals with people and investors, okay. but let's do something that's, that's fair. I, I like the idea that it took you 10 years to launch an idea because you had a, you had this thing that you believed in. You mm -hmm. wanted to have autonom to what you put out there, what you represented, what the company represented for you. And others. Yeah, and others. I mean, I, I, when I, I, you know, because the idea of taking 10 years 
where a lot of time people give up real very easily on things oh. that they started. Yeah. I mean, 10 years is a very long I time. I almost to... gave up. I think I've given up twice, at least <laughs> three times. Yeah. I said, God, please let me know. This is so difficult. I've had deaths in my family, almost a nervous breakdown. Okay. Um, there's, there came a point in this where failure was not an option. Okay. Because you invest so much, so time, much time and money into something. Energy. Yeah. Yes. And you say, well, this has to work. Okay. Because I've invested everything into this, okay. and I've got to find a way to make this happen, and it's it's really scary. Okay. Um, a, another question for you is, I understand like the concept of how you talk about uh, um, urban broadcasting is that you mentioned how it is the hottest media company on the planet. How what what is it number one? What is that you want the community to get out of it? Number one, because for me, I can tell you how I feel about it when I read mm -hmm. that. Um, how, what is it that you would like for the community to get out of it? While well, I think it's, I, first of all, you are your own salesperson. Yes. If you can't promote, promote yourself. and sell yourself, yeah. how is anybody else going to believe you? Mm -hmm. UBC is the hottest company on the planet. Why? Right. Because we as a people are the hottest people on the planet. Our culture. <laughs> yes, we are. What we are, we mm -hmm. are such a magnificent people. If we only know who we really are, mm -hmm. we, we create. We are the most creative beings on the planet. Yes. We are the most intelligent beings on the planet. And I'm not saying that anyone else is not, mm -hmm. but I feel that I am from kings and queens. And I feel that this company is multiple platform. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've spoken with the Googles and the Facebook people, and, and I am a tech person. I really am very, very into yeah. technology. And I see where content is going. Mm -hmm. Content is moving from television, actually, to, to multiple platforms. Yeah. It's moving to digital, it's moving to mobile. And I feel um, urban and our culture is it. From sports, entertainment, we bring in the numbers. We have a, a trillion dollar buying power. Okay. Black folks. Yes. Yearly. So if we only tap into a little bit of that, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And I want to inspire other people like myself because I don't want to be the only one out here. Exactly. You know, but we are we are getting ready to do some things. There are that, two things that I really want to talk to you about. That what? I, I really, what? Yeah. Don't let me reveal my secrets. <laughs> no, we are getting ready to really, oh, yes. we could use to talk about the dance show. That's Yes, that, that's number one. Yes. And, 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 you know, the whole basketball thing. But we're going to take a short break when we come back. Okay. We're gonna talk then about we get that. good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We're going to take a short break. Welcome back to Beyond Focus TV. We are here with Ms. Peggy Dudson. She is the CEO of Urban Broadcasting Company. Before we took a break, we were talking about the, the way we, you with Urban Broadcasting is making a difference in the community. Mm -hmm. And I wanted the community to know about three things. When I went on your website, I was reading that you guys are making huge. First of all, I think everybody's going to go like bogus on your UBC mix. Can you explain to the community what that is? Oh yes, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, you know, the thing, the thing about this favorite. is that I have yes. fun with this yes. because it's too difficult not to have fun with. So I might as okay. well do what I have fun with. Right. The UBC mix. One of the things that I wanted to do was in creating UBC TV mm -hmm. Network is to create programming that is like a blockbuster. So uh, we are a produce, producing network, so we produce a lot of our own specials and, mm -hmm. and originals. So the UBC mix is the evolution of Soul Train and the American Bandstand. Yay! Yay. <laughs> because everyone has uh, dance competition shows, okay. yeah. but where did it start? Exactly. You know, I wanted to go back to where Soul it started. Train. It's the Soul Train. Train. <laughs> but it also started with Dick Clark. Yes. One of my mentors is um, Dick Lubick, who was Dick Clark's longtime mm -hmm. partner. And he gave me a thumbs up. He says, Peggy, that's great okay. uh, to do a dance show. I, I love music. I love dance. And we have been able to get the whole music industry behind us on this, Good. from J Records to Sony to EMI. It's just across the board. And we have some major partners that we're going to be bringing on. But we, we'll be covering hip hop, um, R&B, mm -hmm. dance music, and Latin. 
and a little dance hall. Yes. Okay. I saw that. I was like, okay. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> each each week will be different. Mm -hmm. And and what's so different about this also is that we will have a DJ in house who will be doing his yeah. mix of the top twenty mm -hmm. or the top whatever it will be for that that week. We'll have a major host right now. We're in talks to a couple of really big names okay. in the music industry. We have Takara. Uh, Lynette, who is already yes. our co-host co for the show, yeah. she's wonderful, wonderful mm -hmm. co-host, and we are going to be having a audition very soon for dancers. Oh, can you please mm -hmm. plug that in for me? Because I, 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 like, I saw that, I got really excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be um, looking for uh, Vogue, mm -hmm. Vogers, uh, hip hop dancers, jazz. Um, Break dancers, um, to all types of dancers, and just people that just love to dance. Okay. It's um, going to be the UBC mix. It's going to be a mix. Okay. If so, they want to register, where would they go? Well, go to our Facebook page. Okay. Um, go to UBC TV Networks uh, and like our page. Mm -hmm. uh, we have UBC TV Networks on Twitter. Okay. Uh, you can go to Twitter and follow us because that's where we're going to be making the announcements. If okay, you are perfect. a dancer, Go to our uh, uh, Facebook page and get hooked up because we are getting ready to have, big. you know, yeah, we're getting ready to have dance auditions for this wonderful big TV show that's going to be, oh, let me tell you, UBC will be in about 40 million households nationally and internationally we will be in the UK. So okay. we have a national carriage. Okay. Um, um, on cable and satellite TV, so it's it's not a local regional uh, network. It is a national cable network. So these are national uh, networks. So the UBC mix is going to be hot. It's going to be the hottest. I, I know. I was just like, oh, what dancers? <laughs> it's hot. I mean, I, I just I can't go to bed. That just like thinking about it. Mix the mix the mix. I, I saw it and I thought that's such, such a great idea. Yeah, yeah. The second thing is I, I love the whole tournament because I think um, part of what community-based services is, is we promote health. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have the health and lifestyle, mm -hmm. but you also promoting the whole um, the whole basketball tournament, mm -hmm. right? The American right. Basketball well, Association, yes. uh, the ABA. Uh, we have a we have formed a deal with the ABA. It's the mm -hmm. first deal in history with the American Basketball so Association. Okay. The ABA was actually in 1979 absorbed by the NBA. Yes, there is only two professional basketball leagues, leagues, and that's the NBA and the ABA. And the ABA yes. So the ABA restarted back up with Joe Newman. Mm -hmm. I've known Joe for some years now, a few years. And um, so we finally went into a deal. We're going to deal with the top tier ABA teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will have about 12 regular season games, playoffs, the all-star game, and the championship game. Okay. And the, the broadcast schedule starts in December, and we will have a press release coming out this week announcing the broadcast TV schedule okay. for the American Basketball Association. It's huge. It's huge. It's a huge, huge deal for us. We're very excited to be carrying uh, professional basketball. Yes. And the ABA, of course, you know, um, uh, Dr. J is from the mm -hmm. ABA and the New Jersey Nets. The really? New Jersey Nets, which now is the Brooklyn Nets, Big Nets yes, <laughs> um, started from the ABA. Okay. So yay, <laughs> Brooklyn you know, and yeah. New Jersey Nets, originally an ABA team, mm -hmm. and so was the San Antonio Spurs mm -hmm. and several other teams. So um, we are very excited about this deal. And hopefully, maybe one day we'll have an ABA, NBA kind of like, you know what? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You know, it's like ching ching. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. That's another thing that I wanted to do to separate UBC from everyone else. else yes. You know, because that's just general marketing. And that's from old, you know, like old school. Sometimes it's really good for you to to have a, a you know comfortable ground like of you know being mm -hmm. part of watching the game and and then doing it with a family style mm -hmm. you know from from old folks so that's mm -hmm. that's the second two best thing that I think Yeah and we will have halftime entertainment which makes us totally different. Okay. We will have local groups and established artists that will perform, be performing during halftime at the ABA games. So it's going to be a total entertainment package. How do you pick the, the entertainers for, for the halftime? Well, we're working with the music industry, the record okay. labels. Mm -hmm. And so we're sitting down now, depending on which city, okay. uh, we will determine which act will be performing. But also, the thing that I wanted to do, since I am a professional singer, that's one of the other things I do, I sing. Okay. And um, I wanted to bring up-and-coming acts. So maybe if there's a local act 
that's in the in the community or yes. in the city will be able to feature that act. That would be great. Yeah, to give my goal for UBC is to give new talent a major place to be seen. Forty million you know, people. Yes. Can you just imagine that? Yes. Your first time coming on. Yeah, it's, it's really kind of historic. You know, yeah. There's never been a, a new network that has been able to be uh, have this much distribution, uh, at least availability. Now, what we want to get people to watch, yes. but we will be available in uh, for over 40 million households and cable yes. and satellite across the U.S. the U.S. and the Caribbean. Okay, you know what would be, what would you consider to be, the one thing? Because this is the end of our show. What would you, if there was one last thing you would like to tell the community, actually, what would it be? Live your dreams. Do not chase your dreams. Don't ever chase your dreams. You have to be your dreams. You have to live them. People, uh, one of the things that famous Amos said that really helped me to this day to, to launch UBC is she said, start where you are. Okay. People keep continue to think, well, I've got to be rich, I've got to be this, I've got to be that before I can do this. You can be anything or anyone you desire if you start with what you have right now. And then everything else will come because God will hear you okay. and send those angels. I love that, Miss Betty Dodson. Yes. I love that. Yes. Start where you are. Yeah, start where you are. Okay. Well, thank you so very much. This is the end of our show. Um, you know, if there's a phone number... I know that you want people to follow you on Facebook. What, what, where, this, where should they go? Um, well, yeah, UBC TV Networks on Facebook. Yes. We have Twitter. Uh, the UBC Mix is on Twitter at UBC Mix. Um, info at UBC TV Network. If you okay. want to email us or ask us any questions, it's info at UBC TV Network. Because the phone thing is tricky. Tricky. If it's too many calls, is over overload okay. with the emails. Yeah. You can send as many as possible. And I do answer them. Myself, it may take me a little bit of time to get back because I'm extremely busy, but I try to answer all the emails or my production staff themselves, ourselves. We don't have anybody hiring anybody to do anything. We do things with our hands on. Oh, great. Well, right. thank you, ma'am. Thank you You're for quite being welcome. Here. This is the end of our show. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is going to be one of the greatest things that's going to happen to our community. We have our own urban broadcasting company, TV, where you can go either share ideas or watch great ideas being shared with you. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next Tuesday, same place, same time. Thank you. This is the end of our show.